Hey, what's going on? So in this quick video, I wanna go over a couple of things that are absolutely fundamental for you to grow your business and market your business so you can grow it more effectively and efficiently. Um, and this is all kind of being pulled from, one, some experiences that I've had with clients and partners personally, um, as well as I've been reading this book, Ready, Fire, Aim. Um, I've, if you're a business owner, you're thinking about running or owning a business, this is one book that I would highly recommend you get and read. Um, ready, fire, aim. And I'm going to go over some of the things really quickly, um, just from some of my notes here that I wanted to share um, that will show you, you know, what you can do to market your business more effectively and why marketing and selling is literally the most important thing you can be doing unless you're like Jeff Bezos. And even then, they're focusing and thinking about that too. So a couple things. These five things first. So to start a business or to keep your business growing. This is, once again, from the book, but I find it true and true again and again that this is the number one thing to focus on as I've grown my company and as I see my partners and my clients grow their companies as well. This is so important to focus on. One, come up with more and more ideas. Two, sell products. Three, manage systems effectively. Develop superstars on your team and take action. These are the five things that you should be doing. You should not be worrying about anything else um, besides these five things. Now, when it comes to marketing these things, there can be a lot of different shiny objects out there, right? TikTok ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, building an email list, affiliate marketing, you know, building a t-shirt company. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. But the number one thing that loops all of them together, um, and if you nail this one thing, you can kind of go whatever channel you want and you'll get success. And a lot of people are not the best at it. And the number one thing is creating ad copy right here. As if you're your company's chief executive, if you're the top dog, you're the CEO, the owner, the founder, you're, you should be as the executive, the creation of ad copy needs to be essential to your job. You don't need to become an expert in it. You don't need to become an expert copywriter, but you need to understand the four basics of copywriting if you're gonna have any success or even greater success in your business. If you feel like you've hit like a glass ceiling and, and you can't break through it in growth, it's probably because you're not directing your copywriter, or your advertising team well enough on the creation of ad copy. And this is so important. It's essential. It's literally essential. And there with that, I'm going to break down the four key concepts that every marketer needs to know. Um, and you once again, adopt these for yourself so that you can take them and become very good at creating ad copy and directing ad copy being made in your business, right? When I say ad copy, I'm talking about captions on your uh, social media, emails, um, actual ads on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, wherever, um, and anything. Just selling with words, that's copy. So when I say ad copy, that's what I'm talking about. The four things. One, make sure you understand the difference between wants and needs. We are in the want business, so you want to be advertising and marketing to those wants, not the needs, right? Second, understand the difference between features and benefits. Make sure that you make a list of features and benefits for your business. The example that the book gives is a number two pencil, right? You can take a number two pencil and a feature of it is that it's made of wood, it's got lead, it's got an eraser, it can be sharpened. Those are the features. The benefits is that it can be sharpened quickly, that it's comfortable to hold in your hand, um, that you can write your memories down with it. Those are the benefits. Make sure you have for your products and for your business, make a features and benefits list. Because say you come to me for help for advertising, and we hope a lot of people make a lot of money with advertising. If you don't understand how to kind of articulate what the features and benefits are of your business to me, we've got a problem because we don't have a problem, but it'll take a little bit longer to kind of spool things up. Whereas if you do know how to articulate that and you understand the features and benefits, you can tell us, we can put our magic into it, and we can make you a ton more money. Third, how to, third and fourth kind of tied together, how to establish a USP, a unique selling proposition, and how to actually sell your USP. You must understand these four concepts because if you don't, it's going to be harder and harder to grow and scale your business. And if you're focusing on anything else besides these first five things, it's going to be harder to grow your business, right? And it's very tempting to focus on, you know, new marketing campaigns, building a website, you know, making cool little knickknacks for your business when instead, really, this is these are the four things you should be focusing. These are the five things you should be focusing on right here, as well as these four key concepts every genius marketer needs to know. Now, once again, I'm not saying that you need to become an expert copywriter. I'm saying that these things are what have allowed myself and my clients in my business to make a lot of money 
by focusing on these four key concepts as well as the five things at the top of the page in order to grow your business. So if you're interested in doing this for yourself, you can click the link below. Um, it'll take you to a page where it'll show you more about what we do here at Scale Lab, how we can help you and your business grow. Um, and if you have questions, just comment below, reach out, respond, and let us know how we can help you out and give you some direction and clarity. We'll talk soon and I'll see you in the next one.